the executive board is comprised of. First of all, there are lots of women, but then there's also, you know, non-binary folks and male identifying folks in Bleed the North. So we're, we're, we're trying to get like a- Talk about diversity. Yeah, that's different awesome. Different voices. Yeah. Um, and but, one of the things, I just want to jump in really quick, Isabel, if that's okay. One of the things as a 29-year-old woman that menstruates for the last, I don't know, decade plus, I never once considered that people other than women menstruate. And that's something that's huge. And your platform is educating people on that and putting that out there that yes, women aren't the only ones that menstruate and that other people have to deal with that. So amazing in just putting that out there and getting people educated on that, that that's just not a thing. Let's not generalize that we aren't the only, you know, people that have to go through this and that there are a whole other set of people that have to deal with this. So I'd love for you to talk more about that. Yeah, I'm so happy you brought that up. So, so much of uh, Bleed the North, as I say, we really try and make sure that all of the conversations about menstruation aren't super gendered um, and, and aren't really like exclusive because as you say, not all menstruators are women and not all women menstruate. Like there's, um, and, and I, that was even a shift. Like I remember talking to my dad, you know, he was like, I just learned about period poverty and period stigma. Like there's, there's so much yeah. else to it that you're now exposing me to. And I'm grateful for it. I just like, like, can you talk about the language once again and why it's so important? And absolutely. Yeah. We don't use the term women. We don't use the term like feminine hygiene products because it just isn't really representative of the people that we're sure. See, that's our age. I actually used the word feminine hygiene products earlier in the podcast. I don't know any different. I don't know any better. I try, but that's a, that's a great point. I'll, I'll never use it again. <laughs> Yeah. It's just, it's just like, um, like, you know, why it's like, it, I, you I totally get it. Be a gendered experience at all. And so like even menstrual hygiene day was May 28th and that's a pretty well-recognized day in the menstrual justice yeah. realm. Like the CN tower turned red. Um, right. so that was pretty exciting and bleed the North hosted an event about the intersectionality, like within the menstrual justice realm. And we had a panel, um, a, a many different panels just talking about the different experiences. So definitely is, uh, hopefully becoming more and more part of the conversation until it doesn't need to be like a side thing that's included, but it's just acknowledged. 